What's neat about Episcopal is that the sense of tradition here is linked to core values that have been important for the school since its founding, but that are also incredibly important when you think about cutting edge education today. It's such a diverse community that you're always gonna have people of different backgrounds and coming from different places, yet when you get here, we're a family. The community is like really close together and I always see people that haven't even really met before talking like they've known each other for a really long time and that's just like something that's really comforting, especially for someone who lives far away from home. Our nickname for it is the Holy Hill. Everyone here treats you like family, is basically your family, you're living away from home. It's the best place ever. <laughs> here, the community is tight, it coalesces around this nucleus, but the membrane is porous where we get out in all these different ways. There are so many people here that support you and want you to express your beliefs and in a way that you feel completely comfortable. It's about worship through supporting humankind. When people really need something, people will come together around them. Students really just try to support each other and try to bring out the best in each other. It's just how this community operates. Like if you see someone that needs help or see someone down, you just go help that person just naturally. Whether it be on the football field in the classroom or you're simply just doing a journal entry for a class, you put your best work ethic forward and make sure that you're representing yourself in a positive manner. I feel like Episcopal kind of prepares you with certain characteristics, just to work hard and stick with whatever you're doing, no matter how hard it is. Competitive, relentless. We have a, a great group of students who really have a certain passion that breeds hard work and determination. It doesn't matter what's at hand. There's a certain way we go about things here. Hard work on three. One, two, three. Hard work! It's also like spending extra hours doing stuff that you'd rather not do. If you can embrace the notion of feeling uncomfortable and working in that environment, you can do anything. It's exciting to work with a group of adults who care so much about the kids and who take such great pride in the mission of the school. Ball goes the opposite direction you move. And dribble. We're going to constantly be moving the institution forward to offer the students the kinds of experiences that they need to be the great leaders that we want them to become and to make the kind of difference in the world we want them to make. And so where we're going is to this area that is called Canaan. So we have the glycoprotein uh, tails up here that are for the cell-cell recognition. My classes, they're definitely challenging, but you're surrounded by such a good group of teachers who are willing to help you in any way. Today, it's not just about memorizing information or absorbing information. I created sketches from this design and then sent it over to the laser printer program, and then it was able to piece it together to create the actual version. It's about building the right kinds of skills and personal qualities as you're going through that learning situation to help you be a student who can then take off in a whole different way. Honestly, I think I learn more from other people and my peers and how they give their insights on current events related issues or cultural backgrounds more than I do from a lecture. They'll start to realize that their peers are a great resource for understanding how they can kind of get through a very busy day. 
you're always working together. I think that's a really important skill because when I go to college, I want to major in engineering and engineering is all about like working together. Okay, grab it and then just write in. To make learning come to life, people realize now that it's not about sitting still in a classroom, receiving information in a lecture format. Um, the learning has to come to life. So the innovative things that we're doing in the classroom are incredibly important. The way we're weaving innovative technologies into that experience is really important. But then to, to bring what you're learning to life in the city of Washington and to take advantage of all those resources is incredibly powerful. One Washington experience made me think about what I want to do in the future. I wanted to help people. I knew that for sure. That's why I started doing community service that made me realize what I'm passionate about. If we go and like we're interacting with people like in like maybe a tech lab or something, designing clothes or something, we'll see like how they work and like how as a team that like not only is this like an important skill within Episcopal, but it's an important skill outside of Episcopal to have in the workplace. On several Washington program trips, I have been interested in things that I might even want to pursue in the future. Being here, I've realized that there's so many things out in the world that's waiting for me. Every weekend, there are like three opportunities to do things in our local community with students just giving. What we do in service learning is critically important because the kids need to understand that they are part of something much bigger than themselves. What's so wonderful about those situations is that they're, they're not just making a positive difference themselves, they're actually learning a lot about themselves and they're gaining as much from those experiences as they're giving. One of the main service things that I love to do is um, Special Olympics. I'm really fortunate, we're really, you know, blessed to be here, but there are people out there that aren't as fortunate as we are, and it's very important that we reach out to those, you know, give those guys an opportunity to succeed. If you step outside into the real world, you're able to see the struggles and difficulties people face, and knowing that you can help them is such an important and fulfilling part in your life to know that you can do something, considering how privileged we are to go to such an amazing school. Leadership at Episcopal isn't for the chosen few. It's not for the person who has the specific title or is the team captain or is on this committee alone. Um, fundamentally, leadership is about the students realizing that they have the, the capability and the responsibility to make a positive difference in the lives of others. You learn that actions and the way you treat each other and the way that you walk through your life is something that you're responsible for. And I think they leave from here with a real sense of self. One, two, three. There's a certain sense of individual responsibility. I think that with that comes a need to uphold all that we truly believe in and all that we truly stand for. The students reflect the values of Episcopal in a number of different ways. It's clear that they appreciate the, the focus on trust. And for them, it's connected to the fact that their teachers really know them and appreciate them and, and, and value them and respect that they'll do things the right way. You see that it's not cool to lie, it's not cool to do anything like that. It's cool to be the bigger and better person. It's You're looked up to and you're seen as a role model if you tell the truth and everyone sort of wants to fulfill that position. It is such a deep-rooted sense of integrity. It's built within my conscience and every single intention behind the actions that I do. It's become definitely a very integral part of me. We really do ask of these students that they not only are responsible for what they do, but that they really know in the core what they're made of, what they believe in. There is a, a level of 
honorable behavior and ethical leadership that the world needs and Episcopal needs to be the place to prepare the kids to be those leaders.